Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about the best VPS WordPress hosting that I am using and I consider it the best because I have got really good results. I'm now using Vulture High Frequency directly from Vulture website. I changed out from Cloudways directly to Vulture, mainly due to the price. Recently I have been testing and making further optimizations on the website and I'm getting even better page loads here on my websites and mainly because of the speed is my main focus on my server. And as you can see here from a day ago, I have a 0.6 seconds or six millisecond, 600 milliseconds on the page load of my main home page and with different results among different pages. And I want to show you here the fully loaded time and the largest contentful paint. It might change, but I'm just going to run another test. Might vary a little bit more, probably a little bit less. And now we can compare uh, 30 milliseconds of difference from one day to the other, but still under the 700 milliseconds performance of 99th. 100 but there's not that too much difference from one day to the other so we can see here the optimization has been done with several plugins that i'm gonna be showing but probably i'm not a really good speed optimizer but as we all know from the recent google updates that speed and it's a really important matter or the user experience with a good loading time. So now I'm going to test out with page speed. And here the Core Web Vitals assessments it's failed under the 28 day collection period. So I will still have to wait a little bit after the, some further optimizations. The total blocking time. 230 milliseconds and a large contentful paint in 2.5 seconds. So there's further optimization that I still have to do under the mobile on the desktop. It's already on the hundred percent. So it's a matter of further improving the mobile websites, but already on green numbers. So still have to improve the largest contentful paint. Now with Pingdom website speed tests, I'm getting a 1.10 seconds loading time. So it's pretty actually good. I think with GT metrics, page speed and Pingdom, they are vary and are different from what I have tested and they have further recommendations. In my case, I still have some GC compression to be done. But we can see here that mainly images are the ones that are in size of the page. So probably I can still go further on the image optimization of my website. But still, the, my main focus has been on the loading times. So I think any website below three seconds, two seconds, it's really good. It's a good, but even one second, it's probably the best optimization to be done. So after getting these numbers that I do still think that they can have a little bit more optimization, they are really good. And I'm now using Vulture. This I consider probably the best and for the good price, VPS WordPress hosting, they offer different services among the compute and the high frequency compute that it has been said that the high frequency and the difference between the compute one, the high frequency is mainly focused for the types of websites that have heavy plugins in the case of WordPress, such as Elementor. And that's the one that I'm basically using. And I was using previously Cloudways since it was a recommended one in some Facebook groups and they have the the same plan almost the same plans the difference of cloudways between Vulture are the extra services or extra features that you can get on cloudways 
But since I wanted to try it, try it out, full tour, since it was like, okay, I'm using this server, full tour servers. It's worth to pay the seven dollars in this case for this plan. So I wanted to test out because if I'm paying thirteen dollars with Cloudways, you're getting with them some extra support, some ease of use for the WordPress deployment, or if you want to have different cloud providers and combine your apps, then that might be the reason to use Cloudways. But since I was only using Vulture, I just want and and only my and I only had my WordPress blog. So why pay a higher price if you're almost getting only the half of the resources? So here in Vulture you can see it's six dollars. Cloudways is thirteen. So I made that change. I added a little bit more of subdomains on my website and increased to the to a higher pr plan from Vulture that it has 80 gigabytes to CPU, the two gigabytes from RAM and three terabytes of bandwidth. But I mainly focus or made the upgrade due to the storage. So that's the numbers and those are the results that I'm getting by using Vulture. So does it worth it? Well, we already see the numbers that I'm getting and I consider it yes, they are even better than Cloudways. So I do recommend using Vulture as a VPS WordPress hosting because once you want to deploy, I have here, for example, one server, but if you want to deploy any other app in different locations, you can actually choose here among the high frequency or the cloud compute. Or if you are more of a technical engineer, not as a marketer, then there are some other options like the bare metal and the dedicated cloud. But I do think that the high frequency now with the even better performance than the cloud compute and lower prices, it's a good option to choose. Also, depending on your location, if you are in the United States, for example, in my case, I moved to my server to Mexico City since they recently announced the, the possibility to use Mexico. But if you are in other parts of the world, such as Sweden, Germany, France, Japan, South Korea, Singapore, Australia, and Sao Paulo, and they just recently announced some more places such as Madrid, or some other places in Australia, like Melbourne. And you can choose with which operating systems you want to install. If you just want also to use on a 64 or 32 bytes. If you want also to use the WordPress directly, if you want to install the Plesk, that, it's, that it has a free option to have a three domains. But if you want to have more domains on your Plesk environment, you will have to pay extra. In case that you want to choose the cPanel, you will have to pay $22 extra per month. So yes, cPanel, it's uh, more comfortable to use, and but Plesk is another good option that I, is the one that I'm using. Or in case of WordPress, and if you're only aiming for just one website, you can just install directly some of these two options. Or there are also some other apps that you can install. I'm not an engineer, I'm not a software engineer, so I have very few knowledge, but Cyberpanel also in case that you want some already cache or improving cache, that's what I, what I know. This is also a good option, but there are some other options here. If you want to use Vulture, as a VPS for other platforms. But in the case of WordPress, it's also here through Plesk, Cyberpanel, or WordPress directly. So in some other videos, I had the question like, can you show us what configurations do you have in your WordPress? And here are the plugins that I'm using. And as you can see here, I have Elementor Pro. And also I have WPML, which 
I want to make this disclosure that these are not really famous for being really lightweight plugins, but contrary to that thought or that opinion, we already have seen that, yes, it's possible to have good numbers, but probably if I haven't used, if I don't use those plugins, probably my numbers could be better. So the ones that I want to recommend for optimization is Asset Cleanup. Also, I'm having here Statically and WP Rocket. I use Asset Cleanup to have an optimization of the CSS. These are the configurations that I have. Since I since I hired a freelancer on the speed optimization, I'm not that very good uh, at explaining how this really works. I'm more of a marketer. But from what I understand, optimization through Asset Cleanup is even better for page builders such as DB or Elementor in this case. So that's the main focus of using Asset Cleanup. I use a minification that combine loaded CSS, the inline. There are some recommendations that you can have the some CSS files below 10 to be inline so that your HTML file is not really high or it's not uh, doesn't have too much weight. But in this case, the freelancer recommended to have even even higher files and also the cache dynamic loaded CSS. Here in the optimization of the JavaScript, it's focused in and it's done through WP Rocket. So I'm going to skip this one. Here on Google Fonts, I just removed Google Fonts. Uh, as it said that having the request to Google Fonts may have a impact on your page speed. So I just basically use normal internal WordPress fonts. And if we go here to the CSS and JavaScript manager, you can set up which resources to be loaded, which ones not. And I'm going here to the Elementor icons that are, that it's one of the requests that might give you uh, more loading times on your website. So I just kept this as no loading in the whole website. So if there are some Elementor icons that are on your pages, they will not be loaded. As well with font, font awesome icons, I prefer to change to SVG icons so that the font awesome icons are not loaded. Now I'm going here to statically. This is one of the plugins that I didn't know. It's a uh, new collaboration between several CDNs, including Cloudflare, and it helps to deliver the static files or any other file that you want to serve through this statically CDN. The setup is here with the images. Also here, there are some images, not all that will be served as WebP with the image, qual image quality that you choose. Also here in caching, they're still under development. And also here on the extra configuration from statically, I have the emoji CDN, if there are some emojis. Also the relative path, the CDN, and the remove query strings. Now here with WP Rocket, I have the caching for mobile devices. This will help for, obviously, the mobile first. Here on the file optimization, I have the, with the recent update of WP Rocket, I have set up the load CSS asynchronously. You just click here, this one. There will be some cases if you should uh, remove a new CSS that your website might have a crash or there might be something going wrong between the plugins. I have that one with my, with my cookies announcement plugin. 
So in that case, and in my case, I choose to use the CSS asynchronously, and therefore I got the better loading of those plugins and some other options in my website. Also here in the JavaScript files, I have the minify from JavaScript. The combinations, it's only recommended sometimes. If your website is not finding or having some issues, then it will be fine to have a combination. But if you have some several plugins, sometimes it's also recommended to have it separated. Also the defer. So in case that they have the above the folder issues, then it's recommended to have the load JavaScript deferred or delayed. And also here we can see that for the cookie and announcement, I have it here excluded so that this doesn't uh, add more time to the fully loaded time of the website as well. In case of media, I have added the lazy load for the images, iframes, and the YouTube frames, but also to avoid or, or to the re reduce the time of the large contentful paint, I excluded the images such as the favicon or the logos, or in case of if you have a, an image on the menu, I had set up that as well. So in case since they those are images above the folder, then it's better that those are not lazy load and that the user can have an image when they just load and or arrive land to your page. Also here in image dimensions, it set up the adding. For preloading cache, you can set up here if you want to preload some other links as well here. The prefetch, since I'm using the DNS of statically, I'm prefetching the connection to this link. And the preload fonts, if you already have the fonts within your WordPress. But sometimes it's, it could add, if you have different fonts along your website, it might not be recommended to load the different fonts. Here, I don't have set up more advanced rules. If you want to clean the databases, if you have some other CDN, I'm using Cloudflare, the control of the heartbeat. This can reduce some server resources. If you have some other web images to improve the browser compatibility. This is a new feature or setup from WP Rocket. And you can set up here the credential if you have Cloudflare and with the optimal settings. And if you have Cloudflare, this is the other optimization. I have this set up to minify from here also the JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. The broadly is activated. Also rocket loader. Sometimes rocket loaded might have also issues with JavaScripts. So you can have it activated or deactivated. And in some cases, the Railgun will support for if you have content that is changing constantly. It's mainly recommended. To and but also you have to check out in the host to install the Railgun. And some other important rule that I have to improve the time to first byte times is having the page rule. You can create the rules here, and I have two, the ones that are loaded through WP admin so that these pages are not cached. But everything outside the back end, so we can say, it will be cached. So if we go back here to GT metrics and we see that I'm having like 81 milliseconds, it's mainly due to this page rule that the CDN Cloudflare is helping. So 
this is my recommendation of a fast and probably for me the best WordPress hosting. This VPS Vulture is probably one really good option to be used. It's really good price comparing to probably some other more bigger or known websites such as Google Cloud or Amazon Web Services. There is also DigitalOcean or Linode, the, some other options that Cloudways are offering. So as we can see, yes, it's possible to have good numbers for the full time, fully loaded time. And it's really recommended even if you have heavy plugins such as Elementor. I hope that this video helped you. If you have some more questions, comments, thanks for watching.